Hi, my name's Mark, and this is my story of how God led me to completely surrender my life to Him. I grew up as a Catholic, and I, I was pretty self-righteous. I believed that because I wasn't as bad as the friends that I would hang out with, that God was impressed, that He was somehow pleased with my version of uh, my goodness as opposed to their not-so-goodness. And that led me to uh, have this elevated view of myself over the years that actually came to a crashing halt in high school. I remember meeting some people that were uh, that, that were not sinning as often or as obviously as I was. And so my self-righteous justification of being a good person came crashing down. And if I'm honest, I knew that I needed a righteousness that was even beyond what I saw in some of those friends because I knew that they weren't perfect. And so I knew that that righteousness was only found in Jesus alone. And so I, I came to a point in my life where I recognized I need to fully surrender my life to Him. And I was in my late teen years um, and building my reputation, my friendships, I knew in the depth of my soul that that meant that I would have to put on the altar this um, reputation, my lifestyle that I had built up until that point, and God might have very well taken it all away. I mean, there's a part of my story where I felt a need to go and confess my sins because I was still a part of the Catholic Church. And so I'm like, I, I think I need to confess like every dark, wicked thing I've ever done. And as terrifying as that was, I, I was driven, I would say, by the Holy Spirit to go and just, I sat across in the confessional of Catholic Church from this priest and I'm just laying out all my sin. And he's looking at me with this look like, this isn't a typical confession, you know? And I'm like, getting done with, the, with, with just saying all these things that I've done. And he, he asks me, what are you thinking about doing with your life? And I'm like, uh oh, is he gonna ask me to become a priest? I'm like, ah, uh, going into college, majoring in this particular major. He's like, because the priesthood is a very noble profession. I'm like, oh gosh, okay. Uh, and then he's like, you know, pray some Hail Marys and some Our Fathers and, and you'll be good. And I left there and I, I just felt this weight of my sin, the guilt and the shame that I've been carrying around for all these years lifted and this true freedom. Galatians 5 says, it was for freedom that Christ set us free. And I felt it and I didn't even, spent time praying the Hail Marys of the Our Fathers. I just knew in my soul I was forgiven. God had released me from all the guilt and shame from those years of just rebelling against Him. Then God did this work in my life where He showed me that it was either all or nothing. If I'm honest, the only regret that I would have would be that I, I didn't surrender my life fully to Him in my younger years because I've just seen this incredible work that God planted in me, this new and right desire because of His Holy Spirit that I didn't, I didn't even know was part of the deal, surrendering my life to Jesus. But all of a sudden now, I'm getting along with those that I used to just hate. You know, family members, my own little sister, all of a sudden she's saying, hey, what's gotten into you? And I'm like, the Holy Spirit, let me tell you about Him. And uh, it's just incredible to see God now transition my desires to become what He desires for me. And I recognized uh, early on that it's, it's, it's not about what I offer to God. It's not about my self-righteousness or my track record of being good or better than others. It's about fully trusting in the one who did the work that required my righteousness, which was found in Jesus' blood on that cross, his burial and his resurrection back to life. And what I've seen now since is uh, some good days in terms of following Him and some hard days in terms of my own selfishness, battling against my pride, feeling entitled to uh, be treated a certain way even with my wife and my kids. But the underlying recognition is God is doing a work in me to draw not only me closer to Himself, but also to invite any who are willing to listen to the good news of Jesus into that same relationship through faith. And it's just, there's nothing more exciting than that. There's nothing more satisfying than knowing that I get to be used by God to invite others into that relationship with God. And all that's required is repentance and faith. And I just love what God's doing in my life.